Hi there. Um, I'm going to try something different now. Um, some of you might have watched uh, a few of uh, uh, these short snippets of me recording with my guitars in uh, my studio. Uh, I'm going to try and add some talking to that now. Um, hopefully not too much. Um, but um, I'm in my studio here, the Ecophonic Studio. Um, and I'm working on a project for a friend, a friend of mine, Nikolai Mulke. He's doing an album of uh, his own songs. And um, it's turning out great, great songs. Uh, uh, he's a good friend of mine and I've, I've, I've followed him for... Um, I've, I've known him for years and uh, known some of these songs for years actually. And um, uh, it's, a, it's quite a special project guys because it's... Um, I would call it, I wouldn't call it children's song, and it's, I was thinking of maybe calling it children's songs for, for adults, but it's not even like that now. It's uh, it's more like family music or family songs. Um, some great lyrics uh, which are in Danish, so um, you English guys won't probably not understand a word of it, but um, um, and as I'm doing this in English, and some of you Danish guys might ask why why the fuck are you doing that this in, in, in English because um, but I know there's a few quite a few people out there and uh, uh, like some of his fans and, and, and people who are not into the, the Danish language and I think it's easier for you uh, Danish people to understand English than the English people to understand Danish so that's why we're doing it in English and um, unfortunately um, you probably won't understand these Danish lyrics, but I can tell you they are really, really great, great lyrics. And it's about, um, it's centered about, you know, being a, a children family, having young kids and, and what's, what's going on in, a, in family life from, from when your kids are born until the, the early teens, I would say. And um, this song, particular song I'm working on today is called Carla. And Carla was uh, Nikolai's uh, dog, uh, so it's uh, it's a song for Carla, um, and uh, it's about uh, him expecting his first child and uh, and telling his dog Carla about how uh, soon there'll be uh, a little brother or a little sister, you know, to 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 keep the dog company and have a little playmate. It's a very beautiful lyric, and. Um, it's great. It's, I love working on this, um, and I love working on on stuff like this in this particular way. Um, Nikolai asked me if I would add uh, guitars and, and bass to a couple of, of the songs, and I think in, uh, his original idea was to do an EP, a uh, four-song project, something like that. But it turned out to be a whole album, which is great because it's great songs. So. Um, uh, I, I have had some uh, some guitars and uh, bass to to like three songs I think now, and um, what we do is uh, we talk about what's um, what his idea is with the song you know and uh, if if he, what he if he hears some kind of different sound or some particular sound and um, I try to go along with that and um, well I'll just take it from there actually and. Uh, I have more or less free hands to, you know, um, thank you, Nikolai, to to um, to do the stuff um, like like I think it should be, you know. And it's uh, it's great fun. I'm doing it here in my studio. I have all my guitars and my uh, pedals and all my old amps, and uh, I have a nice little studio here with um, a Pro Tools setup and uh, some nice outboard gear and old nice old uh, radio desk. From a Danish radio NTP desk, and um, this Soundcraft Ghost, which is kind of a listening back uh, setup. Um, I also have a, like an analog 16 track and 2 inch tape, but uh, for this project, we're doing it straight into Pro Tools. And actually, um, for the song, I'm playing um, the bass, which is uh, my 73 Fender Precision bass. Which is also my main base for touring with the, the zombies, um, because it's such a uh, 
nice workhorse. I mean, this 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 will hold up to anything. You know, you put it on the flight and then, and it comes out in tune. It's like it's amazing. Um, it's an old base, it's a 73, but it's still not like a it's not a 62, so it's not like that extremely rare uh, collector's item. It's more it's more like a work base. And, uh, I mean, I would be very sorry if this one disappeared or had some, something happened to it because I've, I've played an awful lot of gigs on it. But, um, um, but still, I mean, it's uh, replaceable if anything happens. Uh, but nothing happened yet, so crossing fingers. Um, this is more or less my main base when I'm touring with the zombies. Um, I use a Guild M85. Uh, Mark II, I think it's called. Uh, also 73 actually, for some of the more um, vintage sounding bass uh, when I'm playing with the samples, like the early stuff, um, pre Odyssey and Oracle stuff. Um, this one goes really well with um, um, with the later stuff, and when we do like 70s stuff, like Argent and uh, Hold Your Head Up. Uh, got gay rock and roll to you and we're doing Colin solo stuff and all the newest songs from the more recent albums this uh, This is more likely that sound um, it's, I've got I've got uh, round round strings on it, so it's like a very <laughs> It's not a Fender Jazz, so it's, it's not like like this bing, 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 really sharp attacky thing. It's, it's like a good rock bass, and I, I play it with my fingers for some songs. I play it a lot with with a pick, you know, when I really need that attack. And uh, it's two different approaches, I think, and two sounds that I really I really like both of them. Um, for this project, I'm gonna do a play with my fingers, and uh, I'm going straight into the um, uh, more or less straight into the the, the Pro Tools setup. Um, only outboard thing is this one. I'm gonna show you this one. This is a funny old thing. Um, uh, see if we will make it. Yeah, here it is. Hope, hope you can see it. It's um, an old early 80s uh, Roland, I think it's called, I'd say here in front, SIP 301 uh, bass pre amplifier. Um, it's like they did this 19 inch uh, pro thing in the early 80s um, and you could buy this one you could buy an effect amp and a separate speaker and you could put stuff like um, those there you might see I have some few stuff here like the the, um, the old dimension D chorus thing and um, a rack mountable SRE 555 chorus tape echo uh, which goes in that series, and the, the, you can fit you could fit that in a 19 inch rack and uh, you get like a pro rack. Like all this a guy, like Andy Summers of the police, he, he was using stuff like that. Um, as far as I know, um, I think this is like early 80s, 81 or something, and it sounds really great. I mean, I bought it very cheap a couple of years ago, and um, I picked it up in a parking lot. I met up with these two young kids, and um. They said to me, hey man, it sounds great, it's got a great build-in compression. And uh, I said, oh yeah, I was not expecting too much from that, but uh, I certainly, if you're out there guys, I certainly agree, that compressor is awesome. I really love that. And I use it a lot, and um, it's, uh, I don't, I'm not using the compression all the time when I record with this one, but uh, lately I've been doing a lot of uh, these sessions where you're not at at base to some something that uh, other people have has done, you know, and uh, so we have just fell in love with that stupid old amp and um, and its compression. It's like it's like uh, if if um, you guitar players might know the the Boss CS2. Um, that's that's my favorite compressor. I've, I've got one down here actually. Um, that's my all time. Favorite compressor, this one, um, the old one. This is a, I, I think they did a CS1, a CS2, and a CS3. I have them all three, and the CS2, that's the one. That's the one to get. Um, anyway, 
The compression in this uh, preamp sounds very much like the CS2 and it's from the same era, so I think I think it's just the CS2 that put in the, in, in the preamp. I, I don't know about the things. I haven't looked into the schematic of it. Anyway, I'm gonna use that sound. It's, 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 it's got this very punchy thing. <laughs> setting almost a bit like a CS1 compressor actually which oh, that, that's a bit more a CS1 is the first bus compressor and that's a crazy compressor it's, it's more like a comic thing you know it's like it's just fun uh, well this is actually more musical anyway um, I'm gonna do a recording of this and um, I'll start out with some um, you know stuff up in high up the neck, you know, I'm, after all, I'm, I'm a guitar player that happens to play bass, you know, so I have to stay here most of the time, you know. <laughs> no, anyway, um, let's give it a try and uh, hang on and see what happens. Thank you. 